Hi, I'm Dave Thomas of Cars.com. We're here at the 2009 Detroit Auto Show. This here is the Subaru Legacy Concept. It's what future Subaru Legacies will look like, and it's in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the sedan. Subaru says it's an early glimpse of a future legacy. So expect some of these design cues to carry over to a production model. Now, obviously, these radical headlights and LEDs all over the place and chrome and matte paint jobs, that won't make production. But the look, the style, that will. The cool thing about concept cars, you see technology that you won't get at any dealership. Here, Subaru's camera is mounted where side view mirrors would be, and it sends a display to where your rear view mirror is. So you basically have a TV screen instead of a mirror showing you all those angles that you need so you can drive. The concept's about four inches longer than the current Legacy sedan. That adds some much needed legroom to the rear seat. The current sedan's kind of cramped, actually, especially compared to bigger sedans like the Honda Accord. The car's also a little bit wider than before, so the distance between you and your passenger will be a little greater and you'll have a little more room. Automakers use concept cars and auto shows to gauge consumer reaction on future products like this one. So if there's something you don't like, this is a time to complain. You've actually heard some comments about the tall glass here, which gives great headroom, might actually look a little awkward from the side. So if you don't like it, this is the time to pipe up. The inside too is a future glimpse of what Subaru will do style-wise to a future legacy. However, what won't make production are things like touch screens. Every single display in this concept is a touch screen. That must be the iPhone effect. But it is kind of neat to see what they can do with technology. It just probably won't be affordable enough for any of us to buy in the future. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.